Lila. Back to the archaeologist detective the agency. We're going to Lily. Are we calling her or going there? Okay. In good line. <coughs> mm -hmm. Which is outrageous, the kind of information would really help, Lily. I understand, I'll have my assistant deliver it to your office tomorrow. Thank you, I mean it, I'm sure the committee will get scraped together enough to pay you for it. I'm not the one who refused payment, but don't worry about it for now, pay me when you have me the case. You're a godsend, thank you again. God, no, no, it's all me, Miss Hank, all me, good day. Slip zero twenty 20 for the good show. Sorry for coming announced. Sorry for coming announced? Didn't know you were entertaining guests. No, it's quite alright. That was Ursula Hang, a lawyer and environmental activist. Representing a group of cancer patients who all used to work at the food processing factory in Tawaz. The owner refused to acknowledge that they carelessly exposed their employees to toxic chemicals. Luckily for her, I know a guy who knows a guy who did a safety audit of the factory last year. <coughs> Found quite a long list of blatant, uh, blatant safety violations, but the report never made it that far. The owners made sure of it, my guy still has a salt copy hidden somewhere in the cloud. I see, is this how you make your money? Sell information to the highest bidder? Are you speaking? I think you are. I'm not pure evil, Ms. Narma. Well, I guess not, I didn't mean to imply that. I didn't talk to you about that. Lucas wanted me to destroy the recordings his father left them. Let's just say it's a work in progress. I could, couldn't help myself but watch them through Hollow Diaries. Before he passed away, Caleb was planning something called the Angel Share Initiative. And a big Caleb called it the Temple's Greatest Contribution to Society. I don't know, all I know is that aside from Caleb, only one other person has the power to sign into existence, guess who? Yep, Caleb kept the documents at his villa in Cairo. The gentleman named Adam. I'm guessing he will know much more. I wanted to head over there to investigate, but I need your blessings. I got bills to pay, Miss Lily. Great, I want to fly out as soon as possible. I'll keep you up on speed dial. And let's keep Lucas out of the loop until we got the details. I'll figure it out. We'll just leave it to Faye or the gods. I think I'll find something and let you know. I think if I, I think of something, I'll let you know. Look at this. What time is it? 18.02? <laughs> we might just do this little soggy, we might not. I'm not sure what the plan is today. So. Soggy's in 2 hours and 20 minutes. We had to wait like 45 seconds, so we'll just chill. I'm in no rush. Got me on my knees, Layla. I'm begging, baby, please. The parties, your not too late there, is it? Saba al Kihar. Saba al Noor. I'm here to see Mr. Adam Rashidi. And who are you? 
My friend and Mr. Yayo's son, Lucas Yayo, came here from Singapore. One minute. Probably should have called ahead. Please come inside. Mr. Rashidi is expecting you. Oh, I mean, oh yes, of course he is. Miss Amara Dharma, welcome to the Bab Al Garab. Thank you for seeing me, I've come a long way. What a place Caleb's got here. Tall tile? That's the word, something right out of the history books. Books. Yes, Caleb was fascinated by Egyptian mythology from a young age. Artifacts in his office bring uh, back to Singapore were a giveaway. But this this is an excessive kind of, kind of this is an excessive kind of fascination. Fascination. And you probably know as you probably know the temple of the self is inspired by many faiths, past and present, including those of ancient Egypt. Caleb planned to retire here, he wanted to spend his last days within these walls, he even planned for a tomb in the basement level below us, but it was never finished. Why here? According to the ancient myths, passage to the world, the afterlife could only be achieved if you were buried on the west end of the Nile, where we are now. I wouldn't say that Caleb really truly believed it, but it was perhaps his way of honoring the old gods, he reared them all equally. Crazy, isn't it? Uh, what people will do uh, with money, with more money than they know what to do with, end up doing with it. Anyway, sorry, I'm here on business. I said no, Sammy told me to respect you. Bless him, I guess he figured I'd be coming here. You're here to collect the documents for, that Mr. Yale left? For the Angel Share Initiative, yes? That's right, Lucas will want to see them, especially since he is a signatory authority. Yes, in accordance with Caleb's wishes, Sammy has asked me to fill you in. Come, I'll explain. I, I just wanted to be an archaeologist. Now I'm staying with the damn world. I didn't sign up for this. This is Caleb's study. He did most of his work here uh, when he was in town. Only he comes in. He used to spend time with his son here, but that was many, many years ago. You know, they were still talking. Sabbath never got to fix things between them before the old man passed away. I wasn't that old, you know. He was only a few years older than I am, and I'm not really at that store, you know. But what people tell me, his death was pretty sudden, but I'll need to cut it to the chase now, Adam. The angels share initiative, yes. Tell me, do you know much? Do you know how much the temple made last year? $32 million after taxes. Sorry, you have to pay taxes? On the... Religion? And do you know how much of that goes towards charity and community projects? Basically, barely 2%. Talk about projecting your bottom line. Caleb has adopted a more hands-off approach to ever since Ariel took over the temple finances and operations. More and more money has been uh, redirected from community projects to what Ariel calls image building. She maintains a close circle of celebrities and influencers. She did things like funding an up-and-coming pop star's rise to fame, big budget music videos, expensive music producers from Europe to Korea, everything. Pop star gets his glory, Temple gets a marketable face to attract a younger pool of new followers. And new followers bring in more donations, you have to admit, it's a heck of a business model. But what does the Angel Share Initiative have to do with all this? But in this way, it was Caleb's trying to reassert his control over the Temple's coffers. He wanted to go back to the old ways to make the Temple a source of hope and charity. It was destined to make a lot of people in the area look like very concerned. See that there? That's a high security vault that contains the angel share documentation you seek. You seek. Fortunately, I don't have the password. I don't think anyone inside of Caleb does. What I do know is that it has an override. Perhaps one day a person with a mind for it will figure it out. Go into a siege of the garden. Is in need of some work. I'll check on you again in a little while. Thank you. I'll have a look around in the meantime. Why are you being so secretive, man? Like, no one else is. You don't, you don't have a boss anymore. Slender male figure. Strange. Doesn't seem to be regal. Is he even Egyptian, I wonder? Which pharaoh is this? Ramses? Amenhep? Uh, Tutankhamen? Unfortunately, that's all I can think of for now. Engraving under the niche, uh, it reads, I, the resurrected one, eternal master of the endless field of reeds. I, the patriarch of kings, the one who guides the pure of heart to the domain of the fathers. Golden balance scale is a heart on the pan and a feather on the other. Looks strangely familiar. Something I've seen in an artifact Egypt on the documentary. That's odd four square shaped niches on the wall. Doesn't look decorative. 
I could have some sort inside each of the niches. What should we examine the one in the, the second spot, please? I have the judge of hearts of men, the seeker of truths, the light of harmony. Graving under the niche that reads, I the Lord a protector of the I the Lord and protector of the underworld, the attendant of the scale of Mott. Stone blocks are embedded into the wall, but if they aren't secured to it, I could pull them out pretty easily. Take them all. Blocks fit into the niches, but which ones? I'm not sure how many tries I get. I have to push my luck. This is the cat. Cats, more cats. Pretty ancient security system, not the kind you can easily hack into with current tech. If you've got a direct line to the police as well, they'll probably go to lockdown mode if I mess with it the wrong way. But to avoid them, a client doesn't even know I'm here. Look out for the override that Dom mentioned. Maybe a power unit of some sort for a console. There's an engraving under the niche that reads, I the Lord, a protector of the underworld, the attendant of the Scala map. This is where you pull out Google. Crocodile God. Crocodile God. Only one? Only one. Okay. Really? What the crocodile got, man? Attendant of the scale of Mott. Alright, well, didn't have anything on Wikipedia, so the dog looked right. The Anubis. I'm the judge of hearts of men, the group of truth, the light of harmony. Not the Bible, please. A judge of hearts, of men, the seeker of truth, the light of harmony. Alright. Well, we can just kind of brute force it, to be fair. Light of harmony. Food. No? Feather. Okay. 
Patriarch of Kings, the one who guides the pure of heart and in the name of the Father. Of my Father. I have Anubis. Or the eye, I don't know what the eye that is, sorry. Calman. What? I don't want to look at that. My stop is going into lockdown mode. I'm sure you're getting the documents without a hitch. Alright, I failed. Whoops. That's fine. <laughs> Google didn't help me, so... We're in the first two. This... I'm gonna go through all of them again. Just in case something is like, necessary here. Tiger Lily, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, Miss Lily. Damn, wait two hours. I guess just eight hours is fine. <clears throat> Hello, sir.
Are you the feather? Yes. Okay. There's one more. We didn't try the crane. I mean, we, there's only a couple options for us left to try. So. I try bird. No, I have Okay. There you go. Here we go. A while later. You have the documents. Adam, this is going to cause a lot of trouble in the temple, I know. But the real question, detective, is whether that had anything to do with Caleb's death. Thing on you implying that Caleb's death was not natural. I'm sorry for me. The, the I'm sorry to be finishing your sentences for you, but I can't get it out of my head. It sadly feels the same way. Something like this goes against everything Ariel and the council have strived to do for years. Go on, detective. Take these documents. Talk to Sammy. Find the truth. I'm jumping to conclusions, Adam. You're just speculating. What if you're right? I'm right, I'm your right, then you guys some justice to serve. Hug. Tiger Lily. Mirror. Mirror. It's at what, like 5 a.m. there? Through schedule, I'm coming home and I'm coming straight to you as soon as I can. You need to talk and don't tell Lucas. It's like. Two K. On it. Angel's share initiative was designed, or it was destined to make a lot of people very angry, but one person most of all. You need to visit Lily as soon as possible. You waited a week. Uh, 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 uh. Lily, you here? Mira, I'm here in the treatment room. Oh, right. Sorry, I came unannounced. I don't know. I'll pass. No thanks, I'm on the job. The sign's not a fan of hot tubs. You really just purposely whisper? I'm trying to be polite, but no, it doesn't sound very enticing either. Enticing you either? I mean, no offense, Lily. Well, sometimes only a threat to their lives is going to shake them out of their animalistic trance. Get scared, I'll catch up with you. You think they're animals now, but uh, they get worse when they don't get what they want. That's what the gun I fear they all bleed a deep shape. And Lucas, is he different? Lucas has his license, but he's no compliment. Apologies, I know you're too ambitious.
Something only the temple's highest echelons know. No secret that a lot of the temple's wealth comes from investments. When Ariel took charge of the finances about a decade ago, siphoned money that was destined for community projects and invested them in crypto. This ramped up a couple of years ago with Ariel making a string of extremely lucrative investments in the commodities market. She made a killing. Caleb had plans to undo all of that. I'll let him do all the talking. Listen to this. Lucas, my boy. The last time I recorded an entry, I promised you I'd explain everything. Now, as you know, your sister has done a wonderful job of managing the temple's investment fund over the years. However, I've long felt that it serves the rich and the greedy more than it does the people who need our help the most. I have decided to donate all the profits from this fund to charitable organizations managed by Sammy and myself. We're calling it the Angels Share Initiative. Scholarships for children in war-torn countries, public kitchens for poor senior citizens. The possibilities are endless. The means by which the profits are made may be questionable, but they have the power to change lives just the same. The impact of Ariel's hard work will finally serve a meaningful purpose. I'm sure she'll be pleased. All we need is to have either you or your sister, just one of you, to sign the documents and the council will make it happen. I hope, I hope to sign the order sometime in the next few months. But you know me, ever the warrior. I've kept a copy of the binding order with my signature here in Cairo, where it will be safe. I have hope that maybe, just maybe, if you found out about this, you want to be part of it. We can do this together. Sign the documents, and we can make this a reality. I'm gonna come see you soon. I'm so excited to see you again. Wait, getting ahead of myself. End of recording. This is just turn. No, no, it isn't. We need someone to get inside. Someone who knows the only way to get Amir, I can't hear you. And also, you're not even seeing what's your, what was written. Pretty crazy, but what really bothers me was something Adam mentioned, his assistant in Cairo. Is Caleb's death was premeditated? In the light of everything I've just learned, I'm starting to feel like maybe it isn't such a crazy thought. I thought there was Tiger Lily that said that, huh? Someone who knows the inner workings of the council should have said light on Caleb's last days. And I'm just a person, you have to get dressed, we need to get to him as soon as possible. I'll only be a few minutes. Got your number? Oh, that's incoming. Bro, are you tracking me? Amir, I see you back in Singapore. How was Cairo? In landing, listen, we need to meet. I believe we do. Somewhere discreet. Meet me in the White Mar and Bugis. Bring your friend. We're on our way. All right, see you there. Either way. Sammy, this is Lily. Pleasure. He really is a deer. But and it's all the more painful to think that he's being lied to about his father. And if you're calling Adam ahead of my arrival, how did you know I was going to Cairo?
think maybe I should reboot the game. I'm not gonna do it now because you only said there weren't uh, in between quests missions. But I feel like the audio might be bugged. The allegations that Adam shared with me are pretty serious. Can't just assume there, that there is foul play. I have had the game open for three days now, so. Caleb left the hollow tape in the ball of Cairo, told Ariel about the angel sharing it a few days before he fell ill. My god. Something happened. Something. Spare from solid proof is circumstantial. Circumstantial. What are you suggesting? Awfully convenient, isn't it? No autopsy, no investigation into the cause of death. No body to exhume for any post mortem analysis. But I'm not sure if it would be willing to share a patient information so easily. I don't have a police order. Our total soul is not the way to go. Maybe a little slay of hand might work. You get what we need while he's looking the other way. What are you thinking? Oh, it's not that complicated. Go to his client together. We're going to go to his client together. You're a friend accompanying me for a consultation. I'll face some sort of condition, something that requires a closer examination. Really, you don't need to do that. This is a mirror contrary to what you might assume. I don't need to take my clothes off to get things done. I can distract them, lure them away from his desk. He's got his attention elsewhere. You get a, you'll get a very short moment to rummage through his records and make it count. Says it right in front of the doctor. And Dr. Palm's notes on Caleb's last visit. Let us know for more information. Please refer to the patient record. Files. Reason for visit. First name Caleb came by a long time. First time Caleb came by in a long time. Patient presented with muscle pain in the thighs and gastro uh, gastro uh, nemus, as well as uh, palantar numbness. He was um, exhibited in hair loss of the scalp. Patient also reported nausea and abdominal pain. X-rays and blood works came back normal, so the high LDL and glucose, glucose. Essentially stress-related patient reports overwork and fatigue. Tice patient on medical leave will condone more tests after a few days of rest. Hey, coughing. Ahem. Find anything unusual, Dr. Fong? Not really should probably schedule follow-up scans and X-ray. As you wish. I'll have a receptionist book to you for some diagnostics tomorrow. Perfect. Should we get in touch and confirm the booking with you other than that? Is there anything else we can help you with? You've done more than enough, Doctor. Thank you for seeing me. No problem. Have a good day.
Can't believe you pulled that off. Can't believe you doubted me. You know that's not what I meant. Muscle aches, hair loss. Caleb was sick. That their found him chalked up as Caleb's stressful workload didn't suspect a thing. He would have run more tests and scheduled a follow-up. Caleb never came back, he was dead days later. Something wasn't right up with Caleb. Doesn't make sense, he was as healthy as you can be at his age, never overindulged, never smoked or drank often. One day he's leading back-to-back uh, -to -back group worship sessions, the next day he's feeling ill, and then he just dies all of a sudden. My years as an investigator has taught me anything in the sudden death, non-violent deaths, or either, or either accidents, or poisoning. Who would do such a thing to Caleb? How can we know for sure? Well, the problem is that we can't run any tests now because his body's been cremated. I'm going to put a no cremation order in my will. My line of work, you never, just may never know. You know, I always thought of getting my ashes turned into a diamond. The tacky mirror, besides, you wear it like you have any significant other twisted enough to wear it around their neck or anything. Oh, hey, thanks for reminding me of my lonely existence. Guys. After Kayla passed, the closest to him took a lock of his hair as a token of remembrance. Please send me for all that is good and decent. Tell me you were one of them. Somebody drew her at home, tied with a gold string in a little glass box. Some um, macabre break keepsake, but it uh, might just be the lucky break we need. I'll have to get it in the mirror. We need to test the hair. Can you arrange for it? I know who can. I'll let you know uh, where to meet once I get it sorted. <clears throat> Justin, Justin, is your refrigerator running? Mirror, I've been meaning to call you. Well, I beat you to it. Kinda need a favor. Uh oh, I need to test some human hair for a suspected case of poisoning. Uh, okay, access to poison in the toxic mass lab and the forensics. Do you, Sayo, uh, um, that's going to require some paperwork. You know this. This is important, Justin. How important? Caleb, yo. Yeah, what about him? I should say it's highly likely his death was not by divine order. Sai. Okay, your. Uh, get the forensics call and call me. I'll meet you there. Thank you, really. You know you're really wrapping up the bill in the favors department. Oh, I know, and you're the best. Speak soon. Good work. Let's go. It'll happen when I get back. Back in a moment.